Hey everyone, Andrew here with ACR Protect. Thanks for stopping by. That's a two for today, second second video, the same day. Uh, it's Saturday, uh, it's hot, it's really hot. I've got someone bringing me her toy. Um, and it's cocktail hour time. I have got the grill going. I'm gonna throw on some, uh, some beautiful steaks. Those of you who are familiar with Kroger, down here in Texas, uh, Nolan Ryan Beef. Nolan Ryan, the baseball player, incredible baseball player, incredible pitcher. I'm pretty sure I've talked about him on my channel uh, briefly, you know, just in, in probably in, in regards to uh, his, uh, his steaks. So I've got some bone in ribeyes that I'm going to throw on. And, you know, when it's hot like this, so we are going on day uh, 23. 23. Um, 23 days of plus 100 temps every day. It's fucking horrible. <laughs> it's so hot. It's so hot. I got, I'm just, I'm just out here cooking. I've got, uh, I've got the fan on up above. I've got the fan on behind me. It's probably causing some, some static. I'm sorry. Well, she's, we can do this all night. I like, I just, yeah, it is what it is. So let's get to the cocktail hour. That's what I'm talking about. Like it's, uh, Cooking steaks, drinking beer, beer and steaks go to well together. Um, I'm kind of throttling it back a little bit with this one, but it's, <clears throat> I'm excited about this one. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm excited about this one. Uh, German beer, a German Hefeweizen, Tuscher, Helles Hefeweizen. All right, this is uh, the oldest brewery in Nuremberg. Been to Germany. Been in Nuremberg, beautiful city, cool country. All right, this one's coming in at uh, at five point two. It's a pint. Uh, I got this as a single, uh, right there for two fifty for a can. It's not bad for a full pint, especially if it's a good beer. A lot cheaper than some of the others I got in there right now. Let's crack this open now. It uh, this deserves a special glass deserves a bigger glass kind of cloudy there but let's get that poured in there look at that that was a it's a lot of head that was a shitty pour that was a that was a terrible pour. i'm gonna blame the heat on that with that level off of that it smells good half of bison's kind of aromatic have some has some fruity notes to them they are best garnished with some type of citrus what i had today i just i grabbed myself a a lemon wedge i'm just gonna i'm gonna give that a little squeeze in there i'm doing this not you can't even fucking see i'm an ass right all right i'm just gonna drop that in there boom all right oh you'll, you'll never guess you'll never guess who dropped off a gift for me right there all right so I'm gonna let that kind of sit for a minute. That's that man. That's that's a good, that's a good looking beer right there. Look at that. I'm gonna let it settle for a second. Like I said, it's hot, and uh, down here. Any see the nice thing about the thing is wipe my brow. I don't look as gross on the video. Uh, it's hot. Anytime you can cook outside and not turn on the oven inside. Uh, and you know, counterproduct your ACs that never fucking shut off. Uh, I say that's a victory, you know? I say that is a victory. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get the whole can in there. I'm weird. Uh, FYI, if I don't find this one very tasty or strong enough, I'm gonna, I'm gonna step it up. But uh, I got most of the can in there. Let's, oh, <laughs> it's an airplane. We haven't had one of those in a minute. You know, I was just watching this and that with Matt. He, he posted a video last night. It's pretty cool, a cool bag. I've talked about his channel, go check him out. He had a neat little little sling bag, like an EDC bag. Just pretty awesome. Uh, go check him out. He was drinking a, a cool beer. Um, I think it's like Armed Forces Brewery. I'm gonna need to look for that. I, I think I've seen them around here at HEB. Uh, they just, you know, uh, anything Armed Forces. I, I'm a veteran, I support veterans. I, I support the Armed Forces. Uh, that brewery sounds pretty awesome. I'm gonna have to give him a shot. But he, he uh, 
he, he had a plane go by in his video and he mentioned he mentioned that he's like oh not like poor andrew getting fucking planes all the time so happy saturday cheers look at the color on that you know this shit's gonna be good all right here we go That's delicious. That's so good. It almost, it almost makes you forget that another fucking plane just went by just now, just after the other one. We can fit the rest of this can in here. This is one of those, these Hefeweizens, man. It's a good beer. It really is. They're crisp and clean. Good summery, flavorful, 5.2% uh, alcohol by volume. Not, not a whole lot, not, not for my channel. You know, I usually go some, <clears throat> some bigger ones. Uh, but, uh, you know, 5.2 will creep up on you. Have a couple of those. You'll know, you'll know it'll, especially in pint cans. Let's get in here for another, oh my gosh. As you can see, I can, I can gulp that down. That's delicious. It really is. So we got the sun going behind the trees, which is great. A little bit of a reprieve. It's not blazing down on my ass right now. Uh, watching the grill here get to temperature so I can throw those steaks on. <clears throat> what is it? What is it uh, with grilling? I, I, as you know, like when it comes to cooking, um, and you know what? I, I, I think, uh, you know, there's this... Uh, there's this uh, this thing where, where where you know people think that you know you know the guys are supposed to grill and the women are supposed to bake and <clears throat> whatever uh, you know I, I'm not putting any any gender roles on that I I know plenty of women that can grill and make some good ass food and I know plenty of men that can bake yeah whatever I'm not getting hung up on that I I am <clears throat> I am of the type I I am far better at grilling than I am at baking. Um, but it's something about just, man, just sitting outside, hanging out with your dogs, playing fetch for a million fucking times and, uh, having a beer and cooking good food, you know? And, uh, you know, make, I think the best ingredient, all the ingredients, all the spices, man, it's the, it's the love that you put into it, the care when you're making stuff, like all that builds on the spices because you're doing the spices because you care, because you love everyone and you want to make good food bring people together just like beer so that's what i'm gonna do tonight i'm gonna uh i'm gonna throw on some steaks i'm gonna have a couple cold ones uh probably some more easy going ones like this and uh just chill and have a great rest of my weekend let's get another let's get another sip in here you know i damn near finish that pint with y'all on the channel and then you'll be like, he is a fucking alcoholic. Now, all right. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for the cocktail hour. Always enjoy the time with y'all. My best to you and your families. Have a safe weekend. Uh, again, it's 4th of July. So don't, if, you, if you're doing fireworks and stuff like that, a couple things, a little, little PSA, a little safety announcement here. When people talk about their pets. There's some dogs that don't do well dogs and animals in general that don't do well around fireworks if if you have those animals make sure you bring them inside because you know over the next couple days fucking firecrackers and shit are going to be going off and uh with that being said don't don't blow your fucking fingers off and shit like i almost did when i was a kid playing this game where hey you you i'm gonna hold it and then you light it and then i'm gonna fucking chuck it and I, it was like the shortest fuse ever like boom fucking it's, it's a miracle i have my fingers i couldn't feel them for like a week so be careful uh, don't don't have Roman candle fights like we fucking did when we were kids as Gen Xers and shit. So, again, have a great weekend. Happy 4th. If I don't talk to you beforehand, we'll catch you later. Bye.